Hey guys, this is Christy with Vegan Food for Thought, and today is another part on my mushroom series. Um, I actually found something yesterday that was pretty interesting. Um, I'm like almost 100% sure. I'm not quite 100% sure on that one, but um, I always, uh, am, you know, like err on the side of caution with eating mushrooms. If I'm not sure, then, you know, and if there, are, especially if there's a poisonous lookalike, I don't just like go and taste it or eat it. Um, I usually go for second opinions, but, um, anyways, there's a mushroom in front of me that I know I am a hundred percent sure on, and it is one of my favorite mushrooms. I wouldn't say it's my favorite favorite, but it is like in the, yeah, the, the flavor is just like amazing on it. Um, and it is lion's mane. So let me see if I can, I, we don't have any, um, tripods or anything to reach, but if, I hope you guys can see it up there. <laughs> it's just hanging out, and there's actually another one about another seven feet up in this this tree right here. Um, it is a just a fresh one. It's pretty much brand new, so um, I'm gonna wait to harvest it, um, and I'm gonna have to get a ladder or something. <laughs> but um, usually the hairs are the hairs are probably like I don't know, like a quarter inch or or smaller right now, and um, they, I think they usually are best harvested when the hairs are about an inch long or something. Um, so this one has little ways to go. It's really early in the season. Normally, I don't find lion's mane um, until like November, late November and September. This is still, um, it's late October, um, almost Halloween. But um, it's not very typical for what I usually find, but maybe I just went out searching early, you know, I was looking for other things, but um, I ended up finding one of my favorites. I also found a reishi mushroom, um, and I do plan on, maybe I'll post something on that, but um, I don't have any video editing software, so it'll just have to be in parts. <laughs> but um yeah, I am super excited about this lion's mane um, because it is one of the only substances besides um, another mushroom that regenerates nerve cells, um, nerve, nerve uh, like pathways, I think, in the brain. So it's really good for people who um, are concerned about like Alzheimer's um, and other things that have to do with the nerves in the brain. Um, it's very healing. Uh, it's supposed to be able to increase like memory function and stuff like that. So I think it's like one of the coolest mushrooms out there. It's got the like the flavor is one of my favorite and what it does is like super amazing too. So I really, really like lion's mane. Um, and I do plan on, I found a new recipe, so I would like to be, um, maybe next I'll post the recipe for it, but I'm gonna wait to harvest it. I'm not gonna harvest it until it is ready um, and, you know, until it gets as big as it can. Um, yeah. Sorry, I lost my, my train of thought there. <laughs> but yeah, I'm, I'm excited about this mushroom. Um, yeah. And I want to do a recipe, but I forgot. I don't know where I was going with that. <laughs> the dogs are here. They're um, chewing on the logs and stuff, helping. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I was saying there. <laughs> Let's see. Um, so anyways, I'll be updating parts and things, but yeah, uh, I really like lion's mane. It's really cool. Um, the flavor. Okay. Yeah. I was going to talk about the flavor. Um, so I wanted to do like some sort of a stir fry with it. And I do have another recipe I posted, um, that's called vegan corn chowder, I think, um, with the lion's mane. And it has, um, some people say it tastes like lobster or like seafood. Um, to me, it tastes like scallops a lot, like almost exactly. Um, and depending on how you cook it, um, it can taste different too. But um, the flavor is amazing. I call it vegan lobster. But <laughs> um, yeah, I plan on making something really good with it. It always turns out good. I've actually, I didn't post this one. or Well, I think it's on Instagram, but... Um, I updated on there, I did a lion's mane recipe with um, tacos. I did lion's mane tacos and it reminded me so much of shrimp tacos. It was, it was really good. Um, 
I'd say the flavor is a little bit more mild than shrimp, but then I kind of prefer that because shrimp, like shrimpy shrimp isn't always like, you know, the best flavor, but this stuff is more like mushroomy, more, I don't know, like a mild seafood flavor or something, but it is amazing. Um, and there are some techniques for cooking it that I wanted to try out. So I'll be doing that. Um, yeah, I'm just going to wait to harvest this one until it's fully ready because I don't want to waste, you know, anything. And um, I'm excited for this year because these ones are early. So hopefully there will be more that I'll discover between now and then. But um, yeah, uh, I just wanted to encourage everybody to get out there and to harvest, you know, wild har harvest like any wild edibles that you find. Um, but always... With mushrooms especially, be sure that they're safe, you know, that they are edible. Um, with this mushroom, with the lion's mane, there really aren't any other lookalikes besides um, bear's head. And that one is kind of more of a branchy um, mushroom. I think they're both in, like, there's the, they're called, like, the hairy tooth mushrooms or something. Because they have, like, the, the hairs on them and stuff. And um, they do both grow in trees, um, either, you know, dead on the ground or up in the, the you know, up in trees. But, um, yeah, there's, um, the only other look-alike is sheep's head, and that's like a coral mushroom. It's kind of more like it grows on the ground um, and has a little bit of a different, it doesn't have the hairs on it, so you would know. Um, and especially, like, looking at pictures helps a lot um, just to identify mushrooms and to know the difference between the two um, but that one the sheep's head is not poisonous but it can cause like gastrointestinal issues so I wouldn't recommend eating that one but um, oh, we got a notification but it's not like um, you know it wouldn't be a bad mistake to make or it wouldn't be a, a deadly one but um, <laughs> Yeah, I would, uh, I would actually, what I'm on is a mushroom form right now, and that's helped me a lot with identifying mushrooms. A lot of people on there, you know, like, have really good opinions on a lot of them. And some people will just give you, like, whatever they think it is, and they're not always super accurate. But um, for me, lion's mane, I've actually seen it in person before, and it's been identified. So I always make sure that I know, like what I'm what I'm harvesting before I'm eating it or <laughs> at least um but it's I think you know finding mushrooms has been a really fun thing for me and I've really enjoyed learning about all the new ones and um you can too if uh, you know what to look for um so I'd say my favorite part about mushroom hunting is just going on hikes and looking around at the environment and enjoying nature basically so I don't even necessarily mind if I don't find anything but um there are, you'll learn, there are certain areas where mushrooms like to be, you know, like around creeks and things. They like moisture and water. And there are certain times of year, too, with a lot of mushrooms. So look look up ones that are in your area and where to find them and start from there. Um, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And um, I'll be updating soon on either a recipe or my next mushroom that I find. <laughs>